Hey, welcome to the coin box. In this video, we're gonna talk about struck through errors. I have a few coins here I'm gonna show you, and then I'll show you some certified struck through errors as well. So let's get started. A struck through error occurs when a foreign substance comes between the die and the planchet at the time of striking the coin. The material that is struck through is typically cloth, string, wire, wood, metal, grease, or debris of some sort. Since the die strikes the coin through the material, the result is an impression that is incused. Therefore, it can be tough to accurately identify this type of error because what might look like an error might actually just be post-mint damage. Struck through errors are one of the most common errors out there, so the larger and more obvious the error is, the better. If the impression is too small, it won't qualify to be certified as a struck through error. For example, this 1990 proof Libertad has a really small mark, probably from a string or metallic fragment of some kind. Because of the characteristics of this mark, I don't believe it's a scratch, although it can be tough knowing when something is post-mint damage or an actual struck through error. I don't know this for sure, but this mark might be too small to be certified as an error. Here's another really small impression on a 1948 5 pesos Cuauhtémoc coin. It's not super noticeable, but nevertheless, I think it's fun to find coins like this. Next up, here's a 1984 Libertad with a struck through error on the reverse. This one isn't very large, but I believe it would be large enough to be certified as an error. This might have been caused by a piece of metal or plastic. It's important to notice how the overall color and characteristics of the mark indicate it occurred during minting and not by something denting the coin post minting. Here's another Libertad. This one's from 1982, and this time there are two very large impressions, both above and below Plata Pura. Whatever material caused this seems to also run up through the UR and LA. I could be wrong, but to me it looks like it could have been a fibrous material, something like a piece of scouring pad. Regardless, I was lucky to find this one among some other 1982s I bought, so it was a very pleasant surprise. The last of my raw coins I have to show you is this 1968 25 pesos Olympic coin. This one is not in great shape, but it does have three very large impressions on the reverse. It's interesting that all three are separate from each other, but they are most likely caused by the same material. If you look closely, you can see a couple strands of string coming out of the larger impressions. I wish this one was in uncirculated condition, but I'm happy to have it regardless. Now let's move on to some certified struck through errors. These next few coins belong to my new friend, Scott Dahl. You can see more of his really cool collection on his Instagram at sd underscore mexcoins which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Scott very generously provided these high resolution photos for our viewing pleasure and education. I really like how this onsa looks and for him to have it in such a high grade is a huge plus. If you notice, this 1979 onsa has a very similar impression to the Olympic coin we just saw. As I mentioned previously, the substance or object that is struck through can vary greatly. Some of the more common struck through errors are usually associated with grease or metallic debris. Here's a coin that looks like it was struck through grease, which resulted in a huge lack of detail and missing inscriptions. Then we have what looks like possibly a wire on the obverse of this 1944 one peso coin. And finally, I'll end with this really cool 1968 25 pesos Olympic coin with a very impressive, pun intended, struck through error. Not only is this coin in mint state condition, it is the low center ring and curved snake tongue variety, which is the scarcest of the three currently recognized varieties. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the larger the impression and the more dramatic it is, the better and more desirable the error is. I won't try to go into prices and values on struck through errors in this video, just because of the fact that there are so many factors involved in determining a value for errors like this. Factors like the coin's condition, scarcity, metal, year, and then factors involving the error itself like the size of the area affected and whether or not the material that was struck through was retained or not all have a huge impact on any given struck through coin's value. Alright, well, do you have any struck through errors in your collection? Let me know in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also feel free to like, share, and comment below if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.